So the prisoner in here, we don't know what happened, but apparently they're dead and they're in the cemetery. What do you reckon this is? Now this is creepy when you come through the chapel. Okay, this is the creepiest room so far. Definitely haunted. Welcome back to Praise and Brits. My name is Lawrence. And I'm Natalie. And today we are at one of the most haunted places. Is it? In the US, yes, apparently. A, a lot of places claim that. <laughs> but yeah, it is. And also this is a massively famous movie filming location. <laughs> So we'll roll the intro while you think about it and then let us know in the comments if you got it right. We'll see you in a sec. It really makes me wonder. Ooh, it makes me wonder. So this is cool, right outside there is a police car and you'll notice that we're actually in Ohio. So we're in Mansfield, Ohio. This is the Ohio State Reformatory. Reformery. Is it reformery or reformatory? I don't remember. And uh, actually it's in Mansfield, Ohio. This is a main police car. Yeah. Do you know why, Natalie? Well, you just told me. Because I did. Because it was filmed in Maine. <laughs> so the Shawshank Redemption, it was set in Maine, but oh. it was filmed here. So okay. it's actually here, but it was Maine at the time. So at the end of the movie, I'm not going to spoil it, but the police arrive. I'm not going to say why. <laughs> Everyone should have seen it. Do you know it's Shawshank is number one in the t most watched movies of all time, the highest rated movie of I all can time. I believe that, yeah. On IMDb. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, it's set in Maine. That's why this police car is here. Squirreling. We are going to confirm, but it looks like there is a huge parking lot here. Uh, so I think they are a harvest host. There is a Class A back there. They look like they've been there most of the evening, so that's cool. No joke, I'm sat in the warden's chair right now from the Shawshank. This is, oh, I can't ruin the movie. I think everyone's seen it. At the end, something very specific happens here. And uh, there's a hint on the uh, window behind me there. In preparation for this day, we actually watched the Shawshank Redemption. They got two hours into it. <laughs> they got two hours before she fell asleep. I'm confused as to what part of the tour this is. <laughs> Hi, this is us repairing the walls. Yeah, no, I love this. Natalie just said, oh, they're restoring it. No, so these are the original like walls. Mm -hmm. They haven't redone it, which is what's so cool about it. Okay, a quiz here. But this isn't about the movie, this is about the prison. Okay, so how many inmates did we receive when we opened in 1896? A, 89, B, 150, C, 300, or D, 40? Question number two. How many wardens did we have in our 94 years of operation? A, 11, B, 73, C, 9, or D, 36? I know I emphasized nine there. I don't know the answer, so that, that I wasn't given a clue. Question number three. When Levi Schofield went over the budget for the building cost, the, the state began to think of newer and cheaper ideas for use of this building. What were the ideas? A, warehouse, B, school, C, insane asylum, or D, an orphanage? Now we need to go see a tour guide for the answers because we have no idea. <laughs> would happen all the workers the office workers the warden things like that and then the actual prison part which we're going to in a moment it's split between the ad the admin and the jails is the chapel so as far as i'm aware this is a recreation but when oh, i'm gonna ruin the movie again but whatever there's a guy called brooks he gets out of jail and then they put him in a halfway house and this is the recreation using all the stuff that they had so obviously this is a recreation because the real one is actually in a glass case downstairs, the actual one that he carved. I'm saying this like it's a real life thing. It's just a movie, but it's the best movie ever made. IMDB confirmed that. This is 
creepy when you come through the chapel you end up in the prisoner's cell blocks now this is six stories this i think this was the tallest prison when it was built six stories and we're on the top floor i assume because that is a long way down so we're now this reminds me of call of duty there's a video yes. game where they had a prison there's that map that they, yeah, yeah the prison map and it's just like this anyway let's go look at some of the cells we're looking for cell 13. i watch a youtube video it's haunted so this is one of the most haunted places in the in the US. You said that. I know. Okay. You're but you didn't believe me. You didn't believe me when I said it. So it's a big thing here. And Julian Don, our friends Julian Don, they're from Ohio. They live just down the road, and they do this every year. This is a big thing, right? The whole Halloween yes. ghost thingy. Yes. And if you want to get the crap scared out of you, this is the place to go. Yeah. No, we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. cool is it that they've kept this all original yeah, they've literally yeah. done nothing yeah the door they've done nothing they haven't decorated they haven't even taken stuff out of the cells no. so one thing I don't know where the rest of it was filmed because they had it in like a square there were cells either side in the movie um, also the cells were much bigger than they are here these are tiny there are two beds in each cell a toilet and a sink that's it no bigger than a shed. So you can actually go in and out of all the cells, which is cool, but I'm sure this is lead paint that's peeling off. So this actually reminds me more of the Green Mile than Short mm. Yeah, good This call. is more accurate for the Green Mile. I wonder if this was filmed here as well. We're looking for cell 13. So really interestingly, this was actually kind of a minimum security, or it wasn't, it was like for people who were just out of their teenage years, so they weren't considered minors. Um, and so this was called a reformatory, not a prison. So the whole point, and they put a lot of effort in, obviously not in the movie in real life, they put a lot of effort in to reform the prisoners um, through like education, work, things like that, you know, basically discipline. Um, so that's why it wasn't called a prison, it was a reformatory. It's definitely haunted, right? Mm. Definitely haunted. This is the only one that's closed. Oh, it is. <laughs> okay, you're not allowed in it. So interestingly, this is cell 13. This is apparently the most haunted cell, and the door is shut. Oh, oh it's not. Okay, happening. I'm just being a weakling, sorry. Okay, maybe they're doing that to say, don't go in here. I'm going in. <laughs> so the prisoner in here, we don't know what happened, but apparently they're dead. And they're in the cemetery. Another interesting fact, you can't go to the cemetery because there is a new prison next door and the cemetery is within that prison grounds. So I think there's like 135 prisoners died here in the time that it was open. I'm gonna not talk now, just in case the microphone picks up some creepy stuff. Hey Don. Yeah. What do you reckon this is? This will shut the doors. That's what you'd think. Yeah, it shuts that them looks once. like that would take a lot of muscle to close all of those oh, doors yeah. on a chain. Yeah, I don't I think, think that thing lubricated. I don't think they can see this on camera. I've got my light on it, but yeah, it's. Uh, I guess they wouldn't have been electric because the place was built in like eighteen eighty or something. I think. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, what's that from? Someone's gun. Thanks, Don. That really narrows it down. No, probably a gun. I would imagine that's where that bullet hole came from. There's probably. This is Don's fun facts. He's very yeah. literal. It's it's probably not like a plaque or anything because it probably was a misfire to buy a guard. Playing around with his gun. Well, you'll find that. Yeah. So from the outside, this is Andy and Red. They're looking out the window. It freaked me out when we first arrived. I don't know if I got a video of it, but this is them from the inside. I know what room this is. This is where Red comes in, so he goes for parole, and he has the interview, he does it three times, and this is the desk, and where he would come in and sit down, and he would walk in through these doors, and then sit down, and they'd say, have you been reformed? And he'd say, yes, I'm much better. Rejected. <laughs> Rejected. Is there any other cooler place that has the history of a prison and the best movie set ever? 
the Green Mile in Tennessee, apparently. Apparently there's a prison. Oh, we haven't been there. Right, Tennessee, <laughs> there's a prison where the Green Mile was filmed. Well, so actually, most of it was done in the best. studios, but <laughs> at least it was actually filmed here. Do you know what, Don? That's really good of them that they put this in for the prisoners who were in wheelchairs or yes. couldn't get up and down stairs. That's right. That's <laughs> very, worry. very nice of them. I mean, it looks brand new, but... It's really good. So even if you are, I'm not allowed to say disabled, what is it, handicapped here? Yes. So even if you're a handicapped prisoner, you can get up and down stairs. Brilliant. No, but interestingly, they did have elevators as well. This is obviously a brand new one, but back in the day, apparently they did. Who knew? So we just found out that this room, let me go back into the grand room. This was in Air Force One, another cool movie. In fact, there's a lot of Air Force One stuff that was filmed here. This was, what did they say? Russian, this was the Russian Gulag. Russian gulag. Um, that's cool, now we need to watch Air Force One. Yeah. So uh, yeah, go check that out. And I know at the last clip, he's walking along in, uh, on the outs outside as well, that was filmed. Cool. We just saw this on a little video clip thing of Air Force One. This is the gate over to the Gulag over there as he does the walk of, we don't know, because we haven't watched the movie. Well, we have. We have, but in like 1993. I can't remember why. <laughs> yeah, so we need to watch it again and find out when he's walking, something happens. We'll find out. Anyway, Lance's fun fact. <laughs> yep. Just off the top of my head, the cornerstone of the building was laid in 1886. Okay. It took them 14 years to finish it. Which sounds like a lot, but there is a lot here. If you think all the security and bars and plumbing and everything that it would have taken, yeah. that's pretty good back in the 1800s. Anyway, it officially opened in 1890. So that's good, isn't it? Yeah. And it actually officially closed its doors in 1972. Oh. Yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> Another interesting fact, I did mention earlier it was a reformatory for it was a lower security prison and it was more for like you know youths and rehabilitating and rehabilitating so yeah. it is the those youths that weren't you know quite criminals yet but they had done some bad stuff and they were here to be reformed i've heard some stories about how they were reformed mm. but apparently it was through education and such like but there were other methods used as well um, but uh, yeah, so but the problem was that in the mid like 1900s, 1960s. Uh, thank you. <laughs> just off the top of your head. Yeah. Um, they had to start accepting more dangerous criminals because yes. all of the prisons in the country were getting so um, full. Yeah. And so they had to start accepting more prisoners, which then made it a maximum security prison. Mm -hmm. And then in 1980, it deteriorated so badly that the inmates actually sued them. Really? Yep, and they won, and it closed in 1990. Just because it was probably too much work to upkeep everything, I guess. Probably, they, got, they didn't get any funding, apparently. They had a few escapes as well, didn't they? They did, there was a famous one, the Civil War guy, but I've forgotten his name now. But, but he was like a lieutenant or something, wasn't he? He was high up in the military, I think, and he was jailed, yeah. and then he escaped. Yeah. I wonder if they caught him. I'm gonna have to look <laughs> up on that. Yeah. If I can find any information, I will overlay it below because that's fascinating. I mean, Andy Defray, he didn't get caught. <laughs> that is true. He went and to that's Mexico. a real story. <laughs> yeah, that's a real story, real life facts. And then when Red got out, finally on his third parole, I just ruined the movie now, but on the, his third parole, Red got out. So he yeah. did get parole after 50 years and then went and met Andy in Mexico. I'm sorry, that was the last clip of the film if you haven't seen it. I might have to put a spoiler alert up before when I'm editing this. Okay. Sorry about that. Mansell Reformatory, this is the place to be. My past is my past, that's all I'm gonna say. How was it? So were you here when it first opened in 1870? Ah, uh, five years later I was here. Right, born. okay, yeah. so you were just here as like a youth to be reformed, right? Yes. Okay, so were you here when it was maximum security? Well, it was extra maximum then. Was it? Yes. Right, yeah, so you, you like, how was, how was it? How well, was one it? of the few that escaped alive, yes. Not good. good. But so you've done all right. You're pretty oh. good. I mean, you're over 120 years old right now and you escaped at some point and Methuselah yeah. got nothing on me. Did you did you climb through 500 feet of sewage to get out? Uh, then it was not as deep. Right. It's pretty deep right now, but not quite that deep. All right. So the only other thing 
Like there's so many fun facts about this place. You have to come and do the tour. We didn't do the guided tour. We did our self-guided tour. Um, a few tips about this. One, self-guided tour is fantastic. Mm -hmm. The second one is don't come between like September and no. November because that's a lot of it is closed down. We miss so much of this like solitary confinement, oh, stuff yeah. like that. Um, and so don't come during that time because they're doing a whole bunch of Halloween stuff unless you want to come and do the Halloween stuff. True. Julie was also saying that there is a blood prison, mm -hmm. what's it called? Blood prison? Blood yep. jail? Something like that where you can actually come and spend the night here. Yep, it's and like a whole event. Some, it's a whole yeah. event thing. I'm sure it's very expensive, but you can do that during this time as well. So that would be fun, mm -hmm. but you get your own cell. You sleep in a cell. No, How cool you. is that? I would totally do that. Uh, the other thing is it's very, very, very haunted. Um, there is a bunch of stuff. I know this because I looked at YouTube just to get an idea on some of the history and stuff. All I know of it is about the, the movie, but to get some of the history and it's all ghost hunters. Okay. And so they pick up some really weird stuff. Okay. That's how I know cell 13 is very haunted and we heard a story about it. I don't know how true it is, so I'm not going to reiterate it here. Okay. But anyway, ghost hunters definitely come here. All right. It's fantastic. This is one of the best things we've done on this trip. It's fun, yeah. I'm so glad we did this. So uh, anyway, tickets were 18 bucks, I yep. think. Um, so yeah. All right, shall we end it here? Let's, please. Please. <laughs> Natalie's hungry. She's getting hangry I now. I am getting hungry. All right, okay. Well, thank you for watching. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this. We've also noticed that a lot of people don't have that bell button. So next to the subscribe button, there's a bell. Hit that and hit all. And then when we upload videos, you'll see it typically every Sunday. Every now and then we do a midweek video. Yeah. Uh, all right. And if you'd like to hit the thanks button, Natalie loves it when you do that. And if you want to hit join to become a channel member and become a Brazier to support a couple of tits, Natalie and myself, please go ahead and do that. We appreciate everyone who yeah. does support us. It really does help with everything that we do. Um, yeah, that's it. So we will see you next week. You didn't say next week. We will see you next, next week. week. Because sometimes I get it slightly off and then it just sounds awkward and I'm like, ooh. <laughs> Bye.